One problem I'm noticing is that a lot of people don't have a clear understanding of the words that they use. Now, I won't give too many examples because of some of the words that I'm thinking of, there are a lot of emotional um, attachments to these words and a lot of feelings come up to some of these words. Um, but I'm noticing that a lot of people, they use words without having a clear understanding, sometimes of the word itself and sometimes of what the word actually means uh, to them, right? So, you know, and, and it's kind of hard to get your point across sometimes because it's like, you know, you use, you use certain words and it just, it just presents this, this vague, um, this very vague point, right? Um, so what the word that I'm really focusing on is the word love, right? We talk a lot about, you know, um, about love, you know, saying feeling love and, you know, especially in relationships, obviously, right? So, and I try not to give too many specific examples, but someone that I, you know, used to, you know, um, talk to about, you know, a lot of this relationship stuff is that they would always tell me that their partner would always tell them, you know, you know, you're not loving enough or you're not, you know, they actually told them you don't know how to love. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say to your partner. It's, that is like, that is awful. <laughs> that is an awful thing. Like that person really needs to like learn to communicate yesterday. But, um, and again, you, you know, using that word like love, you know, you don't know how to love. Well, what exactly is how to love? What exactly is love? You know what I mean? And and it sounds very redundant to try to describe and understand and define what love is, but it's necessary. I, I truly, truly believe that it is necessary. Um... Like I said, we use a lot of these words to describe the feeling that we want, but sometimes the word itself isn't enough because it, it can, you know, the word can tell so many different other stories, right? Let's take love for an example. Um, you know, the person that I'm, that I'm referring to, right? They're much more of a caretaker type of person. So when that's how they show their love by taking care of people right you know uh serving people they do a lot for the people that they love right but you know their partner wanted them to you know be more uh affectionate touchy you know probably sexual you know um but you know, if you don't clearly define that, then it's like, how are they supposed to know, right? One, how are they supposed to know? And two, you know, that's something that needs to be explored at the beginning. You know, if someone isn't that type of person or they don't, they don't express themselves, they don't express their love in that, in that way, then like, you need to believe them. You need to have those conversations like what in what ways do you and we don't think about this type of stuff, but in what ways do you express your love? Right. You know, what does love mean to you? Like these are questions that need to be asked from, you know, from the get go. Um, but, you know, going back to the usage of, um, you know, these particular words. Right. Um and again, like you have like a vague understanding of what the word means. So it's like you just you assume that everybody else understands what you mean by you using that word. But the truth is, like there can be a ton of possible stories behind your usage of that word. You know what I mean? Like if you're just saying something about if you're using the word love, right? Like like using that going back to that example, you know somebody telling my friend, you know, you don't know how to love, right? There are so many different stories that 
you know, that that phrase right there, that statement. You know, I mean, obviously, one is is so accusatory. Like, it's, 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 it's just that's terrible communication. Just terrible. Um, but, <laughs> but again, it's like you know, it raises so many questions, and there's so many different stories behind like you use you you using that phrase, you know, that accusatory phrase. You don't know how to love, right? Um, but again, we really need to define it. And so the reason what, what 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 brought me to this conversation was the fact that, you know, um, I'm I'm studying and doing more research, of course, and you know, a lot of a lot of marriages, you know, they a lot of people get married for love, right? And regardless of what your opinions are on that, I have mine. Um, but that's what made me question like okay well, what is love right if you start off a marriage or you get married or you start off a relationship because of love you know what is love you know what is like what was it what was it that brought you two together like what or, or you you know you 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 two or you few you know what i mean um but what was what what exactly is what exactly is love what did that look like you know what what does love look like to you you know what i mean what did it look like when you brought when you guys got together especially like if you you know you got some time in and you're looking back and it's like you can because when you actually in quote unquote love you know all of the, the you know chemicals are you know flowing through your body and your brain and all of that a lot of times you can't really think straight you know what i mean all you can think about is that person but as time has passed and you know those chemicals aren't rushing the way that they used to you know now you can kind of look back and assess like okay well what what was it that you know brought us together at that time you know especially if you had like i said especially if you're having problems if you're having issues in your relationship you know like what is it what is it that brought us together at that time you know what did love look like if, if we got together because of love then what did that love look like? Let's define that. Like, like, let's write it out. Let's take some time to actually like write it out and exact and describe exactly what love is or what love was, right? And compare it to right now. Like, does does it look the same as it did back then, right? If it does, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? You know, um, or if it doesn't look the same. Did it get worse? Did it get, I mean, obviously it didn't get better if you're having issues, but it's like, but if you're not having issues, did it get better? You know what I mean? Um, but these are things that need to be broken down instead of just saying, you know, instead of just using the word itself, actually break the word down. You know what I mean? Um, not necessarily by definition. I mean, obviously that, that can help to act, to, to clear, to actually define the word, um, but find out what the word actually means to you, right? And like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm speaking about love and the word love in particular in this, but any word you might use, um, especially to describe your situation, you know what I mean? Um, but really detail, like detail out exactly what it is, like write about it, talk about it, you know, um. Uh, Turn your camera on and do a video about it. Whatever you like, literally whatever you have to do, um, do it. You know, somehow document your thoughts on um, and break. You know, and break down what you know how you feel about the the situation, right? So anyway, so that's that's just that's you know that's what I wanted to share. You know, um, really a lot. Like I said, a lot of these words that we use and we throw around I'm, I'm not sure if we have a clear understanding of what these words mean and what we mean when we use these words we just use them to make a point a lot of times and um, the truth is the point goes unmade you know because you can't you can't give you can't give give details and a clear understanding of what you mean by that word so I uh, hope this helped somebody if it did let me know in the comments below let me know if um let me know if there's a word that you can point out that 
you think really needs to start being more uh, defined or um, <laughs> not being used at all, you know, but let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And uh, big things are coming. Big things are on the way. I'll talk to you next time.